All right, guys, so the meet is done. Deadlift only meet this past weekend. Um, ended up going 633, 287 kilos at 215 pounds body weight. So not quite what I wanted, but sometimes you have to, you know, you have to adjust. You have to play it by ear. So I went in 250 kilo opener and it didn't even move quite as well as I wanted. So even that was like not quite what I wanted. Uh, the bar got caught on my quads a little bit, which like never happens, but the gym was super hot. It was about 90 degrees that day. There was no AC in there. So that definitely played a role. And this was like the first meet I've ever done where I actually use baby powder. Cause I never use baby powder cause the bar doesn't usually stick on my quads. But after that opener and I felt the bar catching my quads a little bit, I was like, all right, I'm going to throw on some baby powder for these last two. And just because of the heat, like I wasn't even sweating that much, but just that that little bit of moisture made a big difference so kind of on the opener with 551 i knew i'm like well 651 295 kg might be a long shot on this day so i still went up to 602 and this federation uses one kilo jumps instead of the traditional half kilo um they're two and a half kilo jumps so the attempts are a little different so second attempt was 273 kg 602 and again, not, it didn't move like I wanted. Like I was like, oh man, that confirmed that I didn't have 650 in me on this day after that, that second attempt. So I just decided to, you know, I'm like, well, I think I can get 633, which will be 10 pounds over what I did at the last meet in June. Um, so 287 kg, I think I have a shot at that. So I threw that on, 287 kilos, got that. As you'll see in the video coming up here, and it was about a max, you know, there was not much more there, maybe one more kilo, 635-ish, but that was about a max, so it was the smart call. And I can kind of tell based on warm-ups and the previous attempts what's going to be there. Like generally your warm-ups are going to show you whether or not you have that in you or what you have in you on this day. So it was the right call. Sometimes even if you come up with a game plan beforehand, you have to look at how your opener moves and how your second attempt moves to decide what's reasonable for a third. So always be willing to change the game plan, guys. Like if, don't get don't get so stuck in your ways that you don't adjust if you can tell that you're not quite on your A game that day. Or if you're doing better, you know, you go a little higher, but you have to be willing to be flexible about it and change course if need be. That's one of the main lessons I'd, I'd tell you here. So even for my clients, like I give them attempts going into a meet but I often, 99% of the time, can't be at the meet they're doing because they're out of state or in a different country. So I, I generally have a pretty good idea of what's possible as far as attempts. But without being there and seeing like, oh, that's how your opener moved or that's how your second attempt moved, it makes it very tough as far as planning out like third attempts. And you have to, you have to have, be willing to be flexible. That's the biggest thing. Just I would even go into a lot of meets for you guys without planning out a third attempt. Play it by ear. Just plan out your opener, plan out your second attempt, and go from there. And if those move accordingly, you know, you can take a little bigger jump and go for a bigger third. But I wouldn't necessarily plan out third attempts. Just be flexible about them. But as far as the meet, it was really good. It was good to get further momentum. Because I didn't. I wanted to go three for three. I've gone three for three at the, at the June meet. This one was also three for three. Um, albeit I did get like a red up by the right hand judge for downward motion. He said, um, I don't know. It, it wasn't super clean, but I thought it was clean enough that it was a good lift. So it was two to one good lift three for three. The last two meets I've gone six for six now. Um, so that's some good momentum going into the December meet, which will be the next meet December 17th, which 19 weeks away, plenty of time to train. And I think I need to do one thing I'm going to change up, I'm going to do a lot of front squatting. So front squatting, you know, there's not quite the compression on the discs that you get with back squatting. But it's also going to really target my quads and upper back, which are two weak areas. So I'm hoping that the front squats really build up my deadlift. Because I'd love to honestly take a shot at 700 pounds, 317.5 kg, and then a um, 400 pound bench. So that'd be like 402, 182.5 kg. I'd love to make those the goals for December. And um, I do have the half marathon in November, but I want to keep run, running to maybe three days a week tops. So I'm not going to put my all-out effort into the half marathon training 
or go for a specific time goal um, just to be able to complete that marathon. I'd say, you know, I'd be okay with anything around 2.15 or, or uh, 2 hours to 2.15. But I'm not really going to go in with a spe specific time goal. And I may walk some of the uphills and stuff like that. But that I don't want that to, that training to de detract from my December meet training because that's going to be the main focus. I want to really make a push. Whether I don't know how reasonable it'll be, but 700 deadlift and 400 bench would be amazing. That would be so rewarding. I'd love to hit those. We'll find out. You know, time will tell. But that's going to be the main focus up till December 17th, Christmas time. And then I got something on my sleeve for the new year, which will change things quite a bit but i'm excited about it and we'll see what we'll see how that goes but right now i just really want to get that natural 700 deadlift and 400 bench and maybe it'd be cool to even do it a little lighter at like 209 which would be 95 kilos because i weighed in weighed in at this one at 97 and a half kg so if i could get that even you know get my body weight down a little more and get to get to like 95 kg that would be awesome because I, I do want to be healthier I want to keep continuing this pursuit of being healthier. And that's part of the reason I'm doing the cardio as well. But uh, I need to get labs done too. We've talked about this before in the last video. I haven't gotten labs done since March. So I'd be real curious to see what the test levels are at right now. And all that other stuff and lipids and all that good stuff. So I need to get that done pretty soon in the near future here. But other than that, you know, I'm, I'm pretty excited. We got football season coming up. Only sport I watch, guys. So I'm not big into TV. I don't watch any other sports. I don't watch MMA anymore. I don't watch it. basketball, nothing, just football. So I'll be watching those Scouts and Badgers, Green Bay, Green Bay Packers, and a little bit of the Tennessee Volunteers. But football season is one of my hobbies. I, I, I like watching it, you know. Um, but that's really the only sport I follow. So we, we got that coming up, which I'm excited about. Training for this meet, excited about. Seeing my daughter grow up is amazing. Like she's getting bigger all the time. It's just crazy to see the, the the changes and see her grow and everything. And, um, you know, life's treating me well right now. So I'm excited uh, about everything. But if you guys like the video, you know, give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, help me grow the channel. You know, I really appreciate you guys. I know the channel's growing slower now, but I'm going to keep trying to pump out the content and uh, keep getting this, keep getting things to grow. So thank you very much. I appreciate you, you guys.